Hello friends, welcome to Wonder Tales. My name is Meenakshi. Like, share, subscribe my channel. Share the knowledge and get the knowledge in return. Today's story is Foolish Servant. This is also one of the wonderful story of Panchatantra series. Let's get into the story. Foolish Servant Long back on the timeline, there exists a king named Mahipala ruling a small state called Kuntala. Why those, uh, there are so many monkeys here? Let us get into the story. King Mahipala used to believe everyone's words blindly without knowing their innate nature. Friends, innate nature means here the actual nature, what is actually inside their nature that is what innate nature rather than estimating their ability he assigned work based on their obedience there were many monkeys in his palace those monkeys used to obey king mahipala's orders as it were his trust in those monkeys led him to let them roam anywhere in his palace After this happened for several days, one day Mahipala was tired of his royal duties and wanted to rest. At that moment, there were few honeybees flying around disturbing his sleep. Mahipala ordered monkeys like this, Kill the bee that lands on me. The monkey served him as he ordered. A honeybee came and landed on Mahipala. Despite several attempts by the monkey with a hand fan to get rid of the bee, it kept returning to sit on the sleeping Mahipala. Uh, I'm not sure which way monkey will choose to get rid of the bee because it tried with a hand fan but it is keep returning and I'm not sure. Let us see. Let us see. The story is turning so interesting. It threw the hand fan and grabbed a sword, oh my god. An irritated monkey grabbed the sword and tried to smite the honey bee when it landed on the king. But the bee flew off and the king died as a result. Friends, I hope you understand the story. The moral of the story is that when we are assigning tasks to others, we should be careful and we should estimate their capacity but just not their obedience towards us so let us be very careful when assigning tasks to others so that's the story for today we will meet with another wonderful story next time till then bye bye